A lot going on in today's episode. Big plans for the Corvette Z06 successor. Say that seven times fast. BMW is pissing some people off. Nissan promises self-driving models by 2020. Say what? Plus, Lincoln has big plans for its next MKS. And rap fire news. Boom. I'm Derek D, and this is Fastlane Daily on a Friday, AK. TGIF. You said it. Lincoln is smack dab in the middle of a big rebrand and a much needed one at that. It's shown a solid effort with new and revised models like the MKZ and upcoming MKC crossover. That said, there are still some sour apples in its lineup. Who says sour apples? Anyway. Sour grapes. Yeah. One being the flagship, the MKS. We know this because Ford has said Lincoln isn't a true luxury brand yet, but it hopes the next generation MKS will continue on a better path. Really? They kind of make it sound like the MKS was a bad kid and they're just hoping it gets its life together and actually graduates college. Anyway, the 2016 MKS will use both retro styling and some new cues from the MKC crossover. In addition, a bunch of new engines will be available, including a new 2.9 liter EcoBoost V6, making 300 horses, plus the current 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, making a respectable 365 of these. <laughs> yes, horses. Some of the latest research has been saying autonomous driving technology won't be ready for many years. But Nissan is all, really? I bet you we have multiple self-driving vehicles by 2020. Yeah, that's right, I said it, just seven years from now. I think that was a quote from them. The Japanese automaker already has a test track on its home turf dedicated specifically to self-driving cars. So you can bet your bottom dollar they have put quite a bit of money towards hitting this goal. On top of all this, Nissan promises these vehicles will be made available at reasonable prices. Now I use that term loosely, but it's still cool. Now I wouldn't mind some real life Knight Rider type shit, right? I'd be like, my car's name would be Frank. I'd be like, yo Frank, pick me up. And he'd be like, no problem, dude. Like your car would talk to you? Nice one, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no problem, Joseph. Hey, as a brand, BMW does pretty well. I mean, we all know that, right? Yeah. We do. Yes. Especially considering it has been voted one of the most recognizable and valuable brands in the world. That said, not everyone has been so happy with the automaker lately, most notably current customers. Apparently, the drama centers around a software update that has thrown things way out of whack at BMW's main parts distributor. That means many current customers have been waiting weeks or months for parts. That blows multiple goats and could hurt the automaker's reputation if the problem isn't fixed soon. But on the other hand, I have a really strong feeling it won't affect BMW that much. I mean, let's be honest here, people. Tom? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Tom, what do you drive currently? I drive a BMW. Hey, are you happy? I'm very happy. Yeah, very happy. Moving on, the brand new Corvette Stingray is already a bitchin' awesome machine, isn't it, AK? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that won't keep the world from demanding more from Chevy's iconic sports car because no one is ever satisfied, you know what I mean? People always want more. Right? Right. Okay. Absolutely. Looking for people to agree. Just the way it is, you know? So that brings us to the next version of the Z06. And we are hearing that the Z06, Z06 successor, that's tough to say, will be an outright monster. First, the name will be changed to Angry Zenith. Are you serious? No, I'm kidding. It will be called the Z07 to reflect the seventh generation. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. From there, the power figure is expected to be in the 600 raging horses range. That's almost 100 horsepower more than the last Z06. Quite a bump. And it will come from the smaller engine than the current 7 liter V8. Come from a smaller engine than the current 7 liter V8. So your MPGs should be pretty good compared to the power you're getting. You know what I mean? And that power should come through a six speed manual exclusively. Yeah. So Chevy is pretty much saying to you, here, go have some fun. But be safe, of course. Good Remember. call. Good call. Safety is no accident, right, AK? Yeah, that's what I always say. We should see the new Z07 Corvette at, uh, at, not at, as a 2016 model. All right, did I get it? You got it. All right, it's on fire, it's done rapidly, and it's full of news. It's rapid fire news. <laughs> Boom. Brrr, 
it, let's get into it. You ready, Erica? Ready. All right. Here's the full Volvo Concept Coupe. Nice. They also teased the XC90 LEDs much? I think so. Everything is better wrapped in bacon, right? Scallops, asparagus, filet mignon, and now your Ford Fiesta. Yes, I'm serious. Can you say scratch and sniff? That'd be cool. Hey, the stupid Kardashian slash Jenners Instagram a picture of their G-Wagons. More like douche wagons, more like gaudy wagons. Gaudy wagons, what I meant to say. Jeff Gordon's bus burned down in Atlanta. New meaning for the term hot Lana. Woo, rapid fire news. And also, Fast Lane Daily is headed to Germany. Yes, the Frankfurt Auto Show. What you know about that? We're gonna be there. Woo, woo, yeah. Whoa. Dropping bombs on the show today. And that's your rapid fire news. Boom. Boom, that's right. We are going to Frankfurt. FLD will be in Germany at the Frankfurt Auto Show. So if you live in Germany, go there, even though it's press days. Real quick, FLD question of the day, Q of the D, if you will. It's real quick. Do you judge a person by the car they drive? All right, think about it. Use hashtag FLD Q of the D. I feel like I'm going to be burned on this one for driving a BMW. No, come on. Although, it is true, a lot of people stereotype people for driving certain cars. So, let's see what they say. I have a feeling they're going to have a field day. Well, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today and this week. I'm Derek D. We have off on Monday for Labor Day. We're going to run a little special for you. Don't worry, we'll be back on Tuesday with your regularly scheduled Fast Lane Daily programming. FastLaneDaily.com is our website, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe, please. Okay? Appreciate that. iTunes, Instagram, T-shirts, FLD app, and Vine. That's right, guys. Going to Frankfurt. Awesome. Going to Germany. Deutschland. Going to Deutschland. Going to be like, Aus Wiedersehen when we leave, not when we get there. <laughs> uh, what do we say when we get guten there? Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. And Guten Morgen. Yeah. Got to brush up on the germ town. <laughs>